Hello there, good people. Welcome to It's a Shaw Thing. I'm your host, Rob Shaw, here to talk a little Major League Baseball. Time for a view of the diamond, and on that note, I wrote a blog recently. I recommend you check it out. Just head over to opensports.com, click on blogs, click on MLB, and you'll see how the economic recession has impacted Major League Baseball. And on that note, we're going to talk about some of the news and notes going on in baseball right now. First, we start with the Detroit Tigers, who have signed themselves a reliever in Brandon Lyon, formerly the closer of the Arizona Diamondbacks. It was a tale of two halves for him last year. He had a 2.43 ERA before the All-Star break. Before it ballooned, he went all the way up to 8.46 after. He did have 26 saves, but there are no guarantees he's going to be the closer for the Tigers. Francisco Rani will also audition for that job. Now, Next up, a couple of retirements to note. Sean Casey, a splendid hitter for the Cincinnati Reds for many years, also played a little bit in Cleveland, most recently in Boston, will retire with a 302 average and over 1,500 hits. The big problem for him was that he didn't have much power, which is kind of mandatory for first baseman in, these, in this day and age. However, uh, Casey did have a very nice career. Congratulations to him. Apparently, he'll join me as a sports broadcaster. He'll be headed over to the MLB Network. And also, a retirement is in line for Kenny Rogers, apparently. Apparently, this is great news for Major League Baseball photographers everywhere. Rogers, of course, did his damage to a couple of cameras on the other side of the diamond, though he did do very well. He had a 219 career wins, but last year was disappointing. Just a 9-13 and record, a 5.70 ERA. He has not actually announced his retirement, but according to those who have apparently spoken to him, including Detroit Tigers manager Jim Leland, he's going to be calling it quits. As far as one player who just can't call it quits, Tom Glavin plans to pitch some baseball at the age of 43. He's going to join the Washington Nationals, or at least he is interested in joining the Washington Nationals. And that's, of course, a very young team when it comes to offense. He certainly would be a veteran to join them with 300-plus wins. Last year, though, very disappointing. He only went 2-4 and four for the Atlanta Braves in his return to like, not necessarily his hometown, field, but a field that he's done very well on earlier in his career. Didn't quite work out for him. In fact, it was the first time he ever went to the disabled list and up there for a while because of elbow issues. Nonetheless, the Southpaw does know how to pitch. He's done it well for a very long time. It'll be interesting to see him join the Washington Nationals if that in fact does take place. Well, my friends, it's all your news and notes for now for Review of the Diamond. I'm Rob Shaw, signing out. Think you can complete the drive? Play today and get an automatic entry to win daily prizes, two tickets to the big game, and a brand new car. Start your drive today at opensports.com.